Hey guys, it's Jarek the Arab Dragon making another video here today. Now try to remember back when I made my first S Thunder review. It was basically a pistol grenade launcher review, very, very simple. I just thought it was cool, so I got it with my own money, made a video of it, and then published it online. Well, a day after I published that, I got an email from S Thunder. S Thunder basically said, hey, it's a really cool video. We like the videos you make. We think you're a cool guy. Here, just have a free box of stuff. And then they just sent me a box of stuff to make videos of, and I've been making videos of it ever since. And uh, everything after the Pistol Grenade Launcher review has just been stuff they sent to me for free. So one, thank you us Thunder, you're a pretty awesome company and I'm very appreciative of that. And two, we've kept very good contact ever since. Basically whenever I make a video they've emailed me, I've emailed back, and we've just been talking back and forth. Now with the last video I just made, it was of a uh, shocker grenade, I made a review of it, kind of telling you guys this is really cool, go check it out. And uh, they emailed me and said, a cool video, but there's a few things you can do that I don't think you can real that you realized you could do. And uh, one of them was that you don't actually need to use the orange caps. You can actually just use packing tape, which is what I have right here. And I have this loaded up with CO2. Now the next thing they said to me I, is something I never thought of. They said, you can put some water in the grenade and it's going to add to the pressure, which makes sense, but I never would have thought to do that. So that's what I got here. I got a shocker grenade with packing tape, and this is a strong packing tape, the, tap, the tape I use to ship across the country, so it's not going to break easily, but it definitely is going to puncture. Obviously, this makes a little bit of sense if you think about it, obviously, because it's going to take more force to get rid of this tape. It's gonna have to go somewhere. It's not going to just sit in the grenade. So it's going to give more force behind it. On top of that, the water is going to add more force there as well. So I got water and BBs inside of this grenade, and we're gonna go ahead and test it out with a pistol grenade launcher. Let's see this thing shooting. Okay, so just as before, I have two different cameras, one down range, one facing me. I got the grenade loaded into the pistol. And we're gonna test this thing out using water, CO2, and tape. Okay, that's definitely a lot stronger than it was before. Here is the uh, leftover. See it busted the tape right out. No BBs, no water in there. There's definitely a very, very big noticeable difference. There was more recoil, it shot harder, water was everywhere, it was louder. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Okay, so S Thunder was right. There's nothing really more I need. I'll add in one slow motion video real quick at the end of this video, but other than that, that's the end of the video, and I'll see all you guys next time.